In the next couple of years, there's going to be so much AI-generated content, and uh, you know we're going to need some sort of digital fingerprint on that content to determine its authenticity and its provenance. Um, therefore, blockchain is going to be a perfect, uh, you know, uh, solution to that kind of problem. Hey, folks, Flo here. We're here at the uh, Beyond Blockchain uh, Web3 conference here in Ottawa. I'm here with Naz or Nazim with Remix, right? It's great to be here. Good to see you, Flo. <laughs> Very nice to see you as well. My first question is a little bit cheeky. Is uh, I could ask it as a positive or as a negative. Is crypto back or is crypto dead? <laughs> so I don't think crypto has ever been dead. Uh, I feel like the momentum right now from the communities building, from the products that are coming out, from the support that's coming out at both the government level as well as uh, you know a, a startup level, I think it's never been better. I feel the momentum continuously getting better and I feel the quality of the products that are coming out and the use cases and the problems that crypto is solving at several different levels are continuously getting better. So I'm super excited for the next few years. We've been building crypto for the last two, three years, so we've seen the evolution, but this is a great time to build in crypto right now. Is Canada still a good place to build in Web3? Canada is definitely a, place to, a great place to build in Web3. We have a global audience that we can reach. We have uh, support from a government level as well as a startup level. Um, and the types of companies that are coming out of here also are starting to uh, increase in, in quality as well in scope. So it's definitely a great time and a great place to, to build here. So now a chance for your elevator pitch. What is Remix in, let's say, 30 seconds or less? Yeah, so Remix is a platform that allows creators uh, to offer free digital collectibles to their collectors um, that unlock digital and physical goods. And brands are able to sponsor these drops, uh, but 80% of uh, the brand sponsorship, 80% of the funds actually go out to the community. 40% to the creator that leads the drop, and then 40% dropped in all of the collectors that mint the free NFT. So basically we're allowing collectors to get paid to engage with branded content, and we're allowing brands to reach out to a crypto native audience and support the creative community. So all three parties are really winning. That sounds awesome. It sounds like a marketplace, basically, a place where the creators meet with the buyers, meet with potential sponsors. Um, has it been hard to build? Uh, so we've been building this platform now for a couple of years. Um, when we first started out, obviously, you know, issuing free NFTs is very difficult because uh, at a time we were built on Ethereum mainnet um, and, you know, gas costs were very high, so that business model didn't work. We then moved on to Polygon. Polygon allowed us to do, you know, free mints, so the infrastructure continuously got better. Um, when we first started out, even getting people to put Ethereum in a wallet was very difficult. Now we have email onboarding and wallet in the cloud, so Web2 audience can easily engage, so the infrastructure continues to get better. Now we've supported BASE, we're chain agnostic, and we're tapping into the entire BASE ecosystem and adding more and more functionality uh, on the platform on a weekly basis. So it's uh, it continuously gets better from an infrastructure level, from the features that we're launching, and the community continues to get better. I'm wondering what are some of the macro uh, elements or factors that you track as an entrepreneur in your specific space? Could it be, you know, that it's the usual sort of regulation, uh, looking at the US, looking at you know, the regular kind of cycles in crypto, or are you looking at something slightly different because of your unique niche, let's say? So I'm really focused on solving real business problems for uh, brands that are trying to take blockchain elements or characteristics and place it into their digital marketing stack so that they can lower cost per acquisition, acquire new customers, tap into new communities. So for me, I'm offering, um, you know, I'm creating a, a real product, solving real problems, not really focused on um, speculation, but rather the utility that these entities can provide these brands. Um, so it's, uh, uh, it's, it's been a really great experience so far and, and the timing is right for something like this. So Naz, you've been building for several years already. You've seen the ups and the downs, let's say, of the NFT market. What do you see on the horizon in terms of trends and perhaps new use cases? Yeah, so the way we look at NFTs is it's an engagement method. It is a, um, you know, a technology that can build uh, communities that other communities can tap into and can collaborate with. They're digital keys that unlock all sorts of different perks and, and uh, uh, different doors that, uh, uh, you know, can be rewarded to users. So for me, NFTs are just a technology. Um, you know, I don't really focus on the speculation of it. I focus on the utility of it. And I'm very excited about, you know, the use cases that's going to develop over the next several years. And I guess having Larry Fink talk about tokenization, uh, you know, as if now it's uh, a given and something to stay, that does help the case for NFTs as well. 
Yeah, having large organizations like that just putting a stamp of approval that this technology isn't going anywhere, tokenization of real world assets uh, helps the narrative also. Um, and I'm actually really excited about uh, how in the next couple of years there's going to be so much AI generated content and uh, you know we're going to need some sort of digital fingerprint on that content to determine you know if, uh, its authenticity and its provenance. Um, therefore, blockchain is going to be a perfect uh, you know uh, solution to that kind of problem. So um, blockchain is not going anywhere in terms of use cases. Sounds great. And NFTs either. And uh, regarding Remix specifically, anything lining up? Any uh, projects on the horizon? Yeah, so we just launched support uh, for base. So we've been, you know, really building, uh, you know, features within that ecosystem. We'll soon be uh, supporting a couple of more L2 chains, uh, which I will be announcing soon. Uh, we've got some really bigger uh, creators coming on the platform as well. We're starting to bring Web3 music artists on the platform that are collaborating with digital artists. Um, so lots of exciting things are going to happen in the next uh, next few months. Perfect timing, I think. Thank you very much. Awesome. Pleasure, Naz. Thanks. Thank you.